If you've ever been to Ireland, you know it can get pretty windy out there. Well, the country now wants to use all that wind to become a major exporter of renewable energy. And the United Kingdom is already gearing up to become one of its main customers. Lorda Sexton explains. Ireland has enough potential to supply 19 times its electricity needs to renewable energy, boasting some of Europe's highest winds, and plans to use this in what is said to be the biggest project of its kind to be undertaken in the Irish Isle in years. By, by virtue of the supergrid uh, that uh, I proposed 11 years ago, and which we're now working very strongly to bring about between Britain, Germany, France and Spain, we want to see this done so that we become independent of gas, independent of coal, independent of oil, with their price and the pollution that comes with them. These things take a long time. I mean, from the idea uh, to the execution, you know, it's going to take five years, and that's quick. The supergrid is another story. It's, it's a transformation in the way electricity is, is made. A number of companies are now seeking to erect hundreds of wind turbines across the Irish Midlands. The power generated would then be exported to the UK via undersea cables. And we need scale to be able to justify the cost of a cable between um, Ireland and the UK. Uh, we're looking at um, putting in place two cables uh, between North Wales and South Wales into the Midlands of Ireland and there's a huge capital cost in that infrastructure. So what we are planning to do is to uh, get planning for a cluster of 40 wind farms based here in the, in the Midlands of Ireland. With turbines that will stretch up to 180 metres tall, Ireland has potential to become one of Europe's biggest wind energy exporters. But companies here will have to wait another year before a treaty between Ireland and the UK is signed. Ireland has the potential to export 2.5 billion euros worth of wind energy per annum. But while this MOU is still at an early stage, the benefits for the country are crucial, such as jobs, manufacturing and exporting. But what people here are saying is that Ireland needs to negotiate this deal carefully with the UK in order to create benefits for the wider community. Lourdes Sexton, CCTV, Tipperary, Ireland.